Google Experiments is a site where you can find thousands of amazing experiments within AI, AR, music, and much more. And I wanted to enlighten you about one of those experiments that I have become extra fond of called My Story Time. This is an experiment that was built by a bunch of problem solvers from the company Instrument that uh, with, a little with a little support from some friends at Google developed this fairy machine. For us who are parents with toddlers, fairy tales are a daily routine. But sometimes, maybe because we are uh, out of town, the kids don't get their stories from daddy before bedtime. But now, there is a modern solution to this. My Storytime can play pre-recorded stories to the children via Google Assistant. This is especially suitable for those who have a Google Home in their house, but it also works on your mobile or iPad. But the cute part here is that the service lets me record stories with my own voice or my wife's voice. And then the kids themselves can talk to Google uh, to play the story as they are settling down. The answers, that, the answers that they get from the assistants are also pre-recorded with uh, my own voice. Since this is an experiment, it's only available in English, but the stories and pre-recorded answers can be in any desired language. The kids have a few simple terms to learn, play and quit, and uh, simple phrases like that. But they will learn that quickly. So let's test it out. Talk to my story time. Here's my story time. This is your father. What do you want to listen to? Which story would you like to hear? Smith. Sure thing. Smith. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute just to see okay, right Google. And I'll tell you. Pause. So whenever you want, you can, of course, pause the story and continue the immediately after or uh, the day after. Okay, Google, continue. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all, shooting be Oh, <laughs> And that's the end of the story. Would you like to hear this story again or listen to something else? Quit. Okay, lovely. That's enough for today. Sleep well and we'll continue this tomorrow. Kiss, kiss. Yeah. And that's how we use this service. Oh. Pretty simple, right? You can record the tales uh, wherever you are. They are safely stored in the cloud. The only thing to keep in mind is you have to be logged into your Google account. So recording a tale on the bus, a train, or aircraft is no problem today. Once you have recorded it, it is available uh, at your home in real time. So if you, like us, have a scattered family, you can also have your family or cousins contribute to your family collection. So if the children have a grandmother in Spain and a grandfather in Montenegro, both can contribute from their home via any device. You obviously do not need to use this for fairy tales, but uh, you, can, you can record something else, but I think it's best suited for that. Uh, you do not need to record stories directly either. You can actually upload an improved audio file if you want to. But I tested uh, with a mobile phone, and the th thing you heard was uh, via computer, and the sound is totally uh, okay. So feel free to test it. It costs nothing. It, I'll, I'll enclose the links below. And it took me about 10, 10 minutes to set everything up. So please let uh, also let the children record the fairy tales so that they can slowly learn to live in a world of uh, voice assistants. Uh, when you have tested it out, please share which, which of the stories your kids uh, like the most. Good luck!